Hey y'all. It's Sunday. And I hope you all had a great day today. I hope you had a great worship experience. I tell you, it's a great day to be alive. TGIA. Thank God I'm alive. I tell you, I had an awesome time today. A great worship experience. And uh, God is good. This is the day that the Lord has made. I'm excited. I tell you, I'm still rejoicing. God is definitely a good God. He has been good to me. And I tell you, I praise God. I've been good to him. Ha! Glory to God. Not that I have crossed every T and dotted every I. But I thank God today for grace and mercy. I tell you, I love him with all my heart, soul, mind. My liver, my spleen, my big toenail, my little toenail. Everything that I got. I love him and I give him praise. I give him honor. And I give him glory. So how y'all doing out there? Y'all y'all doing good? Way. <laughs> oh, there you are. Oh, you did good today. All right. Did everything turn out like you expected it? Really? Okay. Uh, did you decree your day? Did you command your day? Did you decree some things? Uh, did you pray? Did you tell the Lord, thank you? <laughs> you know, go down your checklist and see what you missed. And uh, God is so good. Uh, he's the God of many chances. Amen. All right. So uh, I thought about something today and uh, <clears throat> I read something that was somewhat disturbing. But, you, you know, I'm telling you, God always uh, have a word, no matter what's going on in your life. Number one, nobody is perfect. Can, if we could just get that. And so nobody's perfect. We can't call nobody out of their name. Uh, we can't um, try to send nobody to jail. We can't try to damage one's character. Uh, we can't try to put nobody down. We don't have that kind of power. And we do not have that kind of authority. So nobody can send nobody to heaven. Nobody can send nobody to hell. Those are your choices. And uh, those are choices that you make. But never try to take revenge in your own hands because the word of god say vengeance is mine saith the lord he said i will repay a lot of y'all trying to pay and pay and pay on somebody that you ain't got no business putting your hands on so we got to get to that point y'all we're living in these kind of times when are we going to get it okay this is a new norm you're not going to be treated like a queen every day but you can set in your mind i am who God says I am. I am the head and not the tail. I am the top and not the bottom. I'm above and not beneath. I'm a joint heir with Christ Jesus. He said I can have, hallelujah, what he has. And he said, power and death is in the life of the tongue. I can have what I say. Glory to God. If we can just get that. But I tell you, even though what I saw, and God dropped in my spirit, what I saw disturbed me enough to pray. Hallelujah. Can you be disturbed enough to the point that you know you just need to pray? If you have an art with your brother, I mean, this is what the word says. If you have an art with your brother and you at the altar and you realize you didn't get it together, the word say, leave your gift. Go to your brother. Amen. Matthew, the fifth chapter. Leave that gift. Go to your brother. And get it right with your brother. Not with every other and everybody. And you know, lotty dotty everybody. We want to be mad with somebody. And uh, we want to go to everybody but the person that we mad with. So you can create an audience to have an opinion of the person that you mad with. There ain't nobody done nothing to you. So have your own relationship. Amen. We try to damage too many people. But God said, I'm the judge. He said, I'm the only one that can condemn. So if you going around trying to condemn somebody, if you going around trying to pay back, honey, you just out of place. Glory to God. That's not your job. Stay in your lane and pray. Learn how to pray. And so we do a lot of stuff on social media. We say, this is my platform to vent. Just like sometimes people, they use their uh, pulpit and say, this is my time to vent. That's the time to preach the gospel. That's the time to give the word of God. That's the time to get into your scriptures. Glory to God. You are using God's equipment for your garbage. Stop it. Glory. That is not the way to go. Amen. I tell you, when you ask everybody on social media to pray for you, you don't know what you're asking for. Spiritual warfare is not on Facebook. You're going to invite a whole lot of spirits in that you cannot handle. And because you can't handle it, then now you want to blame everybody in the world except admit the fact that you started it. 
So you make a bad comment on social media, you're gonna get you're gonna get the consequence of what you said. Because um, uh, if you don't want nobody to talk back to you, don't put it up there. And yes, we have the choice to read it or not read it. But some folk they take it so personal. That is not your normal TV show. We got stuff on social media like it's a soap opera. You, you, every day you, you turn to it. If you ever notice, you ever watch soap operas, and I did back in the day, they were never ending stories. I could stop watching uh, soap operas for six months and go back to all my children, and they, they still doing the same thing. Lying, cheating, stealing. They, the same thing. And the world doing the same thing too. But we should have grown enough that we can accept disappointments in our life. We should have grown to the point that if something disturbs you enough that you just need to pray. You're not where you need to be. Amen. And I tell you, we got to do better, y'all. We got to do better. And I thought of the fact that um, uh, when I was reading uh, J.R. J. J. R. His daughter, when he went to Jesus, and said, my daughter is sick and how he wanted Jesus to come and heal. Well, Jesus got interrupted on his way to the, the child's where she was. Because a lady had an issue. Hallelujah. She had an issue. And where did she go with her issue? She went to Jesus. If I can just touch the hem of his garment. If I can just touch his talit. I know that I'll be made whole. She didn't go around and get the opinions of others. She already been to enough doctors. And she said, but if I can just touch his garment, if I can just touch his talit, I know that I will be made whole. She, it disturbed her enough to believe that if she did that, that she will be made whole. Glory to God. That she will be totally healed. That she, in other words, that's my last doctor's appointment. Because this one, I know that he's going to completely heal me. And so because of that slight interruption, so at first when the daddy said, hey, my daughter is sick. But even though Jesus knew that the, uh, his daughter was sick, he still stopped when she touched the hem of his garment. And the moment she touched the hem of Jesus' garment, her last doctor's appointment, he stopped the crowd. Somebody touched me. But the people with all the people in line, all those people that are disciples, Jesus, how you say somebody touched me? All these people. But this touch was different. Hallelujah. He said, because the virtue went out of my body, somebody touched me. And he saw that lady laying there trembling. He said, thy faith I made thee whole. Daughter, go on about your day in my words. Isn't that something? So it disturbed her enough. Glory to God to go the distance and believe that if God, would, she could just get that touch. And that's how we need to get into that uh, position. Glory to God. And so he was, so he went on on his way to his house. Well, the daughter died before he got there. So here come the gospels. Well, there ain't no need of you coming now. She done dead. All that commotion they got to carry on. They knew that the father had already asked for Jesus. They knew that the father had already told him, hey, come. My daughter's sick. I tell you, but I tell you, them gossiping folk. All those people want to start all that commotion. Well, ain't no need of him coming now. I mean, she already dead. So what, what you still want him to come for? We be in too much. We be in too much stuff. We are in everybody's business, and we can't handle our own business. We want to get see the fault in everybody. And you never looked in the mirror and realized you were wrong for what you said. You never realized you were wrong for what you did. You got to turn that mirror on yourself and talk to yourself. What have I done? Did I sin against God? What could I have done better? You got to talk to yourself and stop trying to put what you did on somebody else. I tell you that three sides of every story is yours, mine, and Jesus know the whole story. So who are you trying to convince? You can't convince yourself that you need to change. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so they went running. Ain't no need to come in now. Well, she already did. But Jesus kept on coming. You know, where, where the girl at? And when he got there, they had all that commotion around him. You know, he put them out. Get out. He put them all out. And, uh, and uh, he had the mother, the father, the girl, and he took his inner circle in the house. Peter, James, and John. Y'all need to have an inner circle. If you notice, he didn't call all 12 of his disciples. He didn't call all 72 of uh, uh, them, all those disciples that he kept adding on. He did not call that crowd. He called in his inner circle. 
And those are the ones he let in the house. Because right now, this is a dead situation. And he, I need some folk that's going to be in agreement. And that's what you need to do. If you're going to go and vent on social media, you need to get your inner circle and go and talk to Jesus, the only one that can handle your situation. Let him handle it. Because can't nobody handle it like Jesus can handle it. That's the one you need to go to. Have an inner circle. Get your prayer wars together. This thing is in the spirit. It's not in the flesh. We don't fight against flesh and blood. Glory to God. Principalities. These powers. These things are principalities. They are high. You know, they in the spirit realm. They're evil spirits. They're wicked spirits. And spirits, evil spirits are not your friends. Stop entertaining them. We entertain the devil too much. And if you give him a little bit, he's going to give you back a whole lot. He's going to multiply. He's going to give it back to you. And then you can't handle it. And then guess what? You started every last bit of it. So don't get mad with folk that respond to your negative stuff when you ought to know better before you do it. You can't get nobody back. God is the judge. Be disturbed enough to pray. If my people who are called by my name would honor themselves and pray. Turn from their wicked ways. Seek my face. Hallelujah. He said, I'm going to hear the land. I'm going to hear you. Glory to God. I'm going to hear the land. Hallelujah. But you got to make the right turn. We turn in the wrong direction, y'all. So as he went in there, and uh, he laid hands on the girl as they began to pray, and the girl woke up. And when she woke up, he said, don't, 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 don't tell anyone about this. Tell me to get that girl some food to eat. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you didn't believe it uh, uh, when, she, when she died, you're not going to believe it when Jesus rose the little girl from the dead. Hallelujah. So he like, don't even tell them. Because if I believe in my mind, if they just say, hey, he went in there and uh, he made that girl come to life. He already told them that she wasn't dead. He said she sleep. And they still didn't get that. They're like, no, she did. He said, she sleep. Get out. Put them out. You need to put some folk out of your life. Glory to God. Put some folk out. Them dead folk that's causing you to be dead. Those folks that are allowing you to feel like you got low self-esteem. Those people that's causing you to be depressed. Those people that are feeding you to get back spirit. Honey, y'all need to get into Jesus Christ, the son of the living God. He's your battle axe. Let him fight your battle. We're trying to do stuff that God is supposed to do. You're trying to do God's job. He's the deliverer. Hallelujah. You need to resist the devil. He's given us power and he's given us authority. He said resist, resist the devil. He will flee. That means he has to go. There is no negotiating with the enemy. And that's what a lot of us try to do sometimes. Hey, I'm in my car. I'm preaching. Yes, glory to God. Because God has a word for his people. We got to stop fighting each other. Things happen. We got to change. We can't change what happened. But we can do better with ourselves because it happened. You got to have that close relationship with God. Glory to God. Matthew 5. If you have an alt, again, I say with your brother, with your sister, your aunt, your uncle. If you have an alt with somebody else, bottom line. And you at the altar, get ready to pray. Honey, go back. Get that thing straight because God is not going to receive your prayer. Because you have iniquity in your heart. And if you have iniquity in your heart, God said, I can't hear you. You just up there, you know, wasting some wind and breath and exercise. You got to go back. Go back and get it right. Hallelujah. We just too much going on in this world. You can't love God and hate your brother. You can't lift up holy hands. Hallelujah. I love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. And all that kind of stuff. And you got all against your brother. And you hate your brother. God is love. There is no hate in him. God is light. There is no darkness in him. He, you know, you got to bear with each other and forgive one another. Didn't the Lord forgive you? Well, then you got to forgive your brother. Who made you so righteous? Who even made the devil? The devil is the only one that can make you feel that you can talk about somebody else in a negative sense. The devil is the only one that can make you think that you can bring somebody down. Baby, 
Every time you try to bring somebody down, you pushing them up. Hallelujah. You just gave them another push. Ha! In the right direction. It happens. So what? So what? Your brother don't like it. So what? Your sister don't like it. So what? So what? Your marriage broke up. So what? So what if your, your boss didn't treat you right? So what? You got to have that relationship with Jesus. Glory to God. He said, you follow me, you will have eternal life. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And so we got to stop. We got to stop. A perverse person stirs up conflict. And a gossiping person will always separate close friends. But love covers a multitude of sin. Do you have any love left? Do you have enough love left to go back and ask for forgiveness? Proverbs 17, 17 says a friend loves at all times. Glory to God. And a brother is born for a time of adversity. Y'all, you're going to have some adversity. Handle it the right way. Amen. Ask Jesus. Like this father asked him to come and heal his daughter. And even though Jairus' daughter had died before he got there, ask Jesus to come and heal your situation. Even no matter how dead it looked. And Jesus will come. He'll come to your house. And he will raise up your situation to make you a better person. Amen. God is good. I tell you, I just want to get on here and try to encourage somebody. Stop trying to fight your own battle. It's not yours. This Your battle belongs to God. You got to have the right attitude. Get your mind together. And I tell you, when people come to me and try to bring me a bunch of garbage, I look at the one bringing it. And God be showing me you. He, I, he's not showing me the situation that you're talking about. I'm looking at you. If it's negative, if it's not lining up with the word of God, and you trying to put somebody down, I'm looking at you because God trying to bring you up. God is trying to bring you up. So be encouraged today. Glory to God. Don't be the one going around trying to beat somebody up. You can't. I don't care how long your paddle, how long your stick. I don't care how many bad words in your mouth. You trying to curse somebody out or are you trying to talk about somebody else? Don't talk about people. They, at least they trying to live right. Glory to God. You be hot or you be cold. But if you lukewarm, the word of God say, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. Y'all making me sick. Ha! He can't let it all say. Don't make God sick with your lukewarm self. Tighten up. Stop letting the enemy come in and feed you all that garbage. That's what it is. A bunch of garbage. And then some of y'all ain't got no better sense than going to believe the person that's putting out all that garbage. You going to believe them. You know, you don't even know if it's true. We got to stop cheering on somebody that's not even doing the right thing and the reason you don't know whether it's right or wrong because you ain't got no discernment and so don't go along because that's your best friend don't go along because that's your best sister your best brother your best boss by their spirit you will know them amen don't go off of somebody else's opinion what is their relationship with you if you find and with that same person that your friend hate, and you have a great relationship with them, don't change. Because when folk get mad, they say stuff they shouldn't say. They do stuff they shouldn't do. And I'm telling you, it's like taking a bucket of water from the ocean. When you take a bucket of water from the ocean, you can't pour that. You can't get that thing back. I don't care if you pour it back in there. You're not going to get that same bucket of water back. If you mix sand together. Green, yellow, blue, and whatever. And if you mix it in layers and you pour it out, you're not going to get those same layers back. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So stop mixing evil with righteousness. That's lukewarm stuff. That kind of stuff makes God sick. We're in the end times. Jesus is soon to come. And he's just trying to warn his people. Glory to God. He's trying to warn his people. I'm coming back for my bride without spot or wrinkle. Are you going to be that bride for Jesus? You have a choice. You follow me and have eternal life. Or you follow Satan and there will be damnation, punishment. All right. This is a serious conversation. I ain't playing today. 
I'm rebuking the devil. And he's not going to have no place in my life. Glory to God. I know who I am and I know in whose I serve, in whose I am. I praise God. I have a relationship with Jesus, the Christ, the son of the living God. And had it not been for him on my side, where would I be? I wouldn't be talking on this video today. And I know I'm not exempt from trials. But guess what? God has shown me how to handle them. Take it to the Lord in prayer. All right. I'm going to get on off of here. But I want you to know, let this be, say, let this be the best, best Sunday you will ever have today. Let whatever disturbed you cause you to pray. You got to art with your brother? Go to your brother. Don't come to me. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Glory to God. Y'all be blessed in Jesus' name. I love y'all. Catch it.